Fuel pump is located under this seat here, and to get this off, many of you may already know this, but you just have to be pretty forceful with it. So I should be able to just like that, and I'll show you. When you undo it like this, you can see that these plug in here to these two tab holder things. Next, you want to get these three nuts off. Keep in mind they're plastic, so be careful with them. Okay. Now you have access to the connection to the top plate and the fuel pump itself. I'll show you how to test your fuel pump per the factory service manual. Get this connection off first. You're gonna need a multimeter and you need to set it up for ohms or resistance. I have mine on 200. Gonna take terminals four and five. Measure the resistance between this terminal and this terminal. And you can see mine is at 3.0, 2.9, which is right at the top end of the spec. It should be between 0.2 and 3.0 ohms at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So because mine is at the top end of the spec, I suspect that something is wrong. The other method to test this would be to put 12 volts here I'll show the factory service manual procedure for that, but that would be if your car is not starting at all and you're trying to figure out if the fuel pump is shot. You would wanna actually put 12 volts directly to it, to see if the pump runs or not. In my case, the car drives, so I know the pump's running. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you right out of the factory service manual, the parts that you're gonna to need to do this job properly. First, you're gonna need this gasket right here because it says to replace it. Part number is 771693020. That's what it looks like right there. Obviously you need a fuel pump and I recommend the Denso kit 950-0107. While you're in there taking this assembly apart, you might as well go ahead and just replace this fuel filter. The genuine part number is 23300-74330. There is one clip down here, but that is also included with this kit. I just didn't mark it down. So this clip goes and holds on this pre-filter sock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a little line. It's included with this. So we've got $120 here US. This fuel filter was about 40, so 160. This gasket here was 17, so we're at 177, so let's just call it about 180 bucks to do this entire fuel pump job. At the dealer, you're looking at around 800 to do the job. Let's get started with the prep work for getting this pump out. It probably goes without saying, but you might wanna run your tank empty if you're able to before you open it up. This here is the line that could squirt a bunch of fluid out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that fluid out of the line by disconnecting the pump, starting the car, letting it run until it dies on its own. That is the factory service manual procedure. Now, while everything is buttoned up in here, it's a good time to clean it up because you don't want any of this stuff falling down in there. This is Chemical Guys All Clean. I really like this stuff. It works really well in different situations. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this soak, and then I will scrub it. Okay, our fuel pump is disconnected. I'm gonna start the vehicle to relieve the pressure out of the system. Hopefully that worked.
You got this little quick connector right here. And definitely don't lose it because I'm sure it's like $50 at Toyota or Lexus. These lithium drill drills do actually have quite a spark in them. It's probably a good idea to go ahead and skip using a lithium type drill or any kind of drill. Keep all sparks, all flames away, of course. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull this and then we are gonna undo these eight millimeters that are around here, this plate. So I wanna take a look and see how much fuel is actually gonna leak out of this. None, there really is no fuel gonna leak out of this. So that is excellent. I think what I'm gonna do, as dumb as this sounds, is just put some tape over the end of this and keep it inside so it drip. if it does drip, it'll drip onto the floor. This pump definitely has fuel in it. I can see it in there. I think I'll just loosen each one and then I'll use the screwdriver after that. I'm gonna take the whole assembly out now. Try not to drop a bunch of crap into the tank. Just take it easy. And there is going to be a connection over here on this side. Okay, let's go ahead and get this line disconnected here. bench let's to see what we got here so here's the pre-filter you can see there's some crap on the sock already right there look at that your uh, so you can see the float for the sending unit and there's the sending unit right there you don't want to damage that and then on this side right here is the filter we're gonna have to pry off this bottom piece here it can be a tad tricky you got to be you don't want to break anything and there's a little tab over here this might be the fuel pressure regulator there we go so this whole bottom piece will come off right there don't lose that that's a, a cushion that's required of course you could theoretically just pull the whole thing out I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and try to get, get that out Wow okay that came right out so there's your old fuel pump what you want to do next is get this regulator assembly out and you got to be kind of forceful with it. I already busted it loose. But that's a very delicate piece. Keep that to the side. Pry this plastic assembly out. And one more. Basically it should slide right off there you go now this is the filter right here be very careful with this so here's the new one i'm gonna just put it on there right now this is the cushion assembly i'm just gonna set that on my new one and this filter then pulls well that's your top plate but this filter will pull down and off okay so here's the filter and it's leaking everywhere now it looks like there's something down in here that I might need, if you see what I'm talking about right in there. On the old filter, you wanna be really careful with this. You need to take out this O-ring. You don't have a replacement with the kit and you need this, this little fitting in here to put into the new filter, see this? So you guys have gotta to remember to get that out or else you're gonna have an issue. That goes in to the new filter and then this o-ring which is already soaked in gasoline you always want to soak your o-rings in gasoline and you just set it down in there and gently press it in preferably with some type of blunt object that's what you want right there there is a new o-ring provided in the denso kit you want to make sure you get a little gasoline on it to lubricate it and you're going to put it right in here or you can put it on the fuel pump itself but that is where it's going to push into you wanna put it in there and make sure it's seated properly in there. I don't know how well you can see that in there, but it's in there. Get the new fuel pump, which is this one, this new piece on, because here's the old one right there. Take out your new 
your part. Okay, this is the cap. You could probably use that to block off some fuel leaking. And then what you want to do is you want to place that right over that port there. And by the way, it would be good to compare and make sure you have the correct fuel pump. I did that earlier, but just wanted to tell you that. Next, we have a cap down here. That is going to be where the suction port is for the pre-filter. Okay, once you have your O-ring in there, you're going to, in this little clip piece right there on that port, get a little gasoline on it. O-ring's inside. You want to go ahead and just push that on. This would probably be a good time to go ahead and replace this gasket. I figure why not do it now when there's not a bunch of stuff hanging off of this thing. So just make sure you don't damage it, obviously. Get it all kind of seated up on here again. And then when we torque it down, it'll it'll get itself seated. The factory service manual does say to replace this O-ring up here, and I did not order that new o-ring it feels fine it looks fine i'm gonna chance it you might want to add that to your list of parts it's probably very cheap i can't imagine it being more than five dollars at the dealer but it's it's an o-ring that goes in the fuel filter assembly which then attaches to this top plate um, i'll show you on the factory service manual what i'm talking about it's this o-ring right here and you can say you can see it says new o-ring that might be something you want to do if you want to do this job perfectly. Okay, once you get everything in place, then you can slide back on this cover and it kind of aligns everything and guides it. The fuel pressure regulator system, you gotta make sure that you really shove it down on there, right there. So that's, that's what I just put in. Okay, so we're gonna take that off and we should be able to just slip this on. And then we're gonna take that special washer and this lock washer is going to go on here. A 3 16 socket will fit nicely right over this, and it should allow you to just gently tap that lock washer down on there. Oh, that's perfect. 3 16 guys, or the metric equivalent. This is how the fuel pressure regulator assembly should look. This plastic piece snaps into the plastic piece that's there. Then you wanna take this top cap, make sure your cushion is on the bottom of the fuel filter and push everything down and on so it's snapped into place. Okay, and that's how it should look. Let's get this fuel line reattached. There. And then you want to carefully get this thing back into the tank. Getting the sending unit and the sock. We've got the new gasket on. Okay. Take your top plate. It goes on this way. There's a couple holes to help you line it up. Drops on right there. Your tor torque value for the fasteners is 31 inch pounds. Before I forget, I just want to mention that there are some extra parts from the Denso kit that you might be concerned about because you might say, I didn't use these parts, oh no. I think these kits are somewhat universal in that they cover a few different Toyota and Lexus vehicles. So don't be alarmed when you see this. I'm going to start the car up now. Hopefully it doesn't explode.